there. My name is Dr. Can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Uh, my name is Benjamin. I was born 3rd December 1995. Thank you, Benjamin. So today I'll be doing a gastrointestinal examination on you. So I'm going to have a look at your hands, your face, and your tummy. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Do you have any questions before I begin? No, I don't think so. No, do you have any pain anywhere? No, I'm fine. Nope, that's good. Okay, so if I can ask you if you don't mind, take off your t-shirt and just lie down on the bed. Yeah, sure. So to start off, I'll begin by examining, examining Ben from the end of the bed. So the patient appears to be stable, at rest, normal BMI, and no obvious distension or anxiety or open or likely that you see in the abdomen, as well as no jaundice. Perfect. So if I could get you just to rest your hands on this pillow for me. Perfect. So here I'll be looking for a colonopia, um, seen in iron deficiency, or leukonopia and hypoalbuminemia. Okay. Can I get you to turn your hands over? Perfect. So here I'm checking for Palmer erythema, seen in liver disease, or deficiency contracture, seen in chronic or familial um, uh, liver disease. Okay, that's not, those are not present. Can I get you to stick out your hands like this for me, and flick your wrist towards yourself, and close your eyes? Now, ideally, I'd wait 30 seconds to check for a flap and tremor, but for the purpose of this examination, I won't, and that's absent and done. That's perfect. You can rest your hands. Now, I'm going to check for clubbing in your fingers. So, first, I'll check, first step is fluctuance of your nails. Okay, good. And now I'll just, can I get you to extend your fingers for me? Extend them like that, yeah, and just rest them. I'm looking for loss of love, body bonds, angle, and the increased curvature of the nail bed. Those are not present. Now, can I get you to put two of your index fingers like this for me? And then fold your fingers and touch your two nail beds together like that. Perfect. So there's no loss of charm loss window. Okay, and do you have any wrist pain? No wrist pain. Okay, so no clubbing here, which would uh, be seen in girls with IV or so yeah. Now I'm just going to have a look at your arms, Benjamin. So, I'm looking at your perpetuia, uh, purpura, and echinosis. So they're not present in bed. Okay, and no track marks seen, um, which would be indicative of, uh, intravenous drug users. Perfect. So next I'm just going to have a look at your face. Do you mind if I take the back look? Okay, thank you. Okay, so do you mind if you turn your eyelids up, uh, eyelids down like this for me? Perfect. So I'm checking for conjectival pallor and anemia, or jaundice to neurosis. Perfect, and I'll also look for coronal arthritis or uh, dental asthma and sustained hyperopedia. Okay, so can I get you to open your mouth wide for me? Okay, stick your tongue out for me. Okay, no signs of angular stomatitis, bronchitis, or oral candidiasis. And no mouth ulcers also, you can relax. We should be feeling so to you. Perfect. So next I'll be doing the nose in your neck. Can I get you to sit up for me, if that's okay? Sure. Perfect. Now I'll just relax your neck. So we'll start off with the submental. So the submandibular up to the great oracle, and the post oracle down the anterior chain, and this is the cervical. Noting the left vertebral node, which would be seen in uh, gastroparesis, and then up the posterior cervical chain, the occipital. Okay, that's good. You can lie back down. So I'll be looking for spider nevi, or will find be significant. And um, there's no gynecomastia or hair loss as well. Have you had any surgeries before? No. Yes. No, okay. So there's no obvious scarring and no obvious distension and no obvious organ amygdala or masses that can be seen and no tree as well. Can I get you to lift your arms for me like this? No, I, no, I can go to this magic hand which be seen in GI adenal carcinoma. Perfect, you can rest again. Now, but I'm just going to lay down the bed if that's okay. Yes. So let me know if you have anything at any point in time. So starting at the light iliac fossa, supercubic, left iliac fossa, left flank, umbilical, right flank, right hypochondrial, heavy gastric, and left hypochondrial. Do you have anything at any point? Okay, okay so now I'm going to do deep palpation. Okay, any pain there? No, okay, no signs of any organ of my or masses that can be felt. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a feel for your liver, so if I can make you take deep breaths in and out for me, okay? Sure. So take a deep breath in. And out. And in. 
Pardon? Pardon? That's the thing. Okay, so I can't put you to the lower border of the river, so I'm just going to progress from here. Okay, so the leather size is about 4 centimeters, which is normal, so no one can tell my Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing again. I have to take two steps in and out for me. I'm going to go across your stomach to take your skin, okay? Sure. So, two breath in. And out. In. And in. And in. And one more. I think you should just roll over towards me, please. Yep, just like that. Perfect, and that's great. You can lie back down. So I can't appreciate the skin there. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to balance for your kidneys. So I'm just going to slide my hand underneath over here, if that's okay. Can I get you to take a deep breath in? And out. And another deep breath in. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side, okay? So again, take a deep breath in, and out, and deep breath in. Okay, perfect. So I uh, can't appreciate the kidneys there either. Okay, next I'm just going to have a palpation for your aorta. So you go two centimeters, two centimeters up from the umbilicus, and two centimeters laterally. And pop right here. Okay, take a deep breath in, and out. And another deep breath in. And out. Okay, so I cannot appreciate the palpation there. Perfect. Have you had anything to eat today? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to listen to your vowels. Sure. So now I'm going to listen for a yard for me. Again, two centimeters above the umbilicus and two centimeters laterally. Okay. And then with the blue screen over me, one centimeter laterally of the umbilicus. Okay, and I cannot appreciate them so you are early on the way. I'm just going to check for shifting velvet for society, so I'm just going to be a little gear. I need you to roll over towards me now. Ideally, I'd wait 30 seconds. That's the thing. Can you get your roll back down? Okay, so you cannot appreciate shifting down with the knee Benjamin, so no signs of the side is it. Okay, thank you very much, Benjamin. Do you have any questions? No, okay, so you can put back your shirt and that can be for examination. Good, thanks. Thank you very much. Today I saw Benjamin, 23 year old male. He came in for a gastrointestinal examination. My examination reveals no purple stigmata of gastrointestinal pathophysiology. To complete the examination, I'd like to examine the hernal orifices. I'd like to conduct a digital rectal examination. I'd also like to examine external genitalia. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to balance the kidney. So to begin off, so you'll start with your right hand dominant. You're going to place your right hand underneath, and you want your metacarpal joint all to be underneath and you want to feel for the coxophrenic angle. And then you're going to put your non-dominant hand, being the left one, uh, on top, exactly parallel to the, the one that's underneath. And you're going to ask the patient to take a deep breath in, and out. And as they breathe out, you're going to press harder to decrease the distance between both hands. And then, again, ask them to take a deep breath in. And that's when you slip twice with your the hand that's underneath. Okay, and then you repeat the same thing on the other side again, right hand down, so I'm going to place my right hand underneath, and my left hand will be on top, exactly parallel. Again, ask the patient to take a deep breath in, and out, and when they take a deep breath out, you push hard, and again, deep breath in, and then you flip twice with the dominant hand underneath, and out. And that's how you balance the kidney.